I normally get myself a plus 15 uh, bandit's knife. So, like, on parries or backstabs, they just instantly kill people. So you're doing a pretty good job here. Yep. It's good practice. Looks like you got the timing down. Which of is course, good. you'll never need it later. <laughs> yeah. Yep. But <laughs> I, it's, it's, it's good principles, you know. This is absolutely depressing that you haven't been summoned yet. Oops. I'm being summoned now. Oh, nice. Well then. Make sure you have full health. Yup. Yep, I do. That's the thing you want to do. If you're ever being summoned, immediately take a flask. Here we go. Awesome. All cool. Right. So let's try this out. Oh, get him, tiger. Uh, so you're doing Cat. Ornstein and Smog, apparently. So, I mean, so one of the things yep. about them is you want to basically disconnected from oh mm. balls. <laughs> Damn it. Well. Well. I think he was looking for someone in particular. So what's what's the etiquette on this fight? The etiquette is normally if you are a summoned boss, if you are a summoned helper, to tank the boss that the player character is not fighting. Okay. Yeah, that's what that's what my approach is yeah. going to be. So like if the if the player if the host is fighting like Ornstein, you just tank smoke. Basically, grab his attention, bring him to the other side of the arena, and do nothing. Yeah. But like Solaire, who keeps getting sat on. <laughs> Oh, that's the way. And I'm gonna go to the bathroom because I drank a bottle of wine. <laughs> that is depressing. Oh, I know. God. Yeah, he must—he must have black crystal you. So. What a uh, trick. I wouldn't have black crystal me. I know, man. Well, no, you? I, I would have been happy to have a Gunther at my side. Maybe not with that claw, but. Hey, nah. hey, the claw has been. Wonderful. That claw is doing reasonable damage, I will admit. Yep. This claw has slain many a dragon in its time. Well, I mean, most of those were drakes. Let's not. <laughs> <laughs> you and your life. Ah, uh, I know, I know. Seriously, it's. Where is that fella? I know there's a guy yeah, buddy. here. Hey, guy. He's hanging out in the bedroom. Guy. Guy, what are you doing in here? This is a closet. I'm trying to get him through the wall. <laughs> Come on. You actually have enough souls at this point to uh, go do the pyromancer thing. Well, I've got soul items. I could have yeah, done that well, a while ago. True. This is just kind of killing time. Oops. Invading world. Oh shit. Uh -oh. Um, back off and heal. There we go. I didn't realize. I thought my su my sign vanished because he disconnected. No, me. the invading world means that you have you still have that ring on, don't mm. you? This is a oh. this is a dark blade thing. Oh great. A dark blade. Yeah. Dark moon blade. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'm sorry. I'm just picturing like a dark blade. Well, the reason they call it dark blades is because they get a specific miracle later that uh, is one of hey. the best. Damage miracles, but um. Whoa, he's got, he's he's got your hat on. <gasps> oh, he's a dragon dude. Oh. Yeah. So uh, here you go. He already killed one of the dark blade dudes, so he's doing some PvP here. Yup. Watch out for his fire breath. Mm-hmm. Oh dear. He actually doesn't have that much life. You can do this. Yep. Uh, make sure you keep strafing. Keep your. Um, no, his lag is really atrocious. He he totally got me in the back. Oh, oh. he that was in pretty terrible. In the side back. Yeah, that was that was a glitch stab. That was <laughs> pretty. Uh... Though I've seen worse. I've seen myself get stabbed from about five feet away. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, wait, you weren't aware that the, the bandit's knife was a reach weapon? <laughs> <laughs> you just tied it to a pool cue. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so. At this point, I've got enough souls. I yeah, guess. go down to the uh, chaos, uh, which is of Azalea. They're not <laughs> damn it, chaos. <laughs> there it is yeah, again. You should probably bleep that out. Um, go back to the uh, chaos servants. Does that have to be them, or do you prefer? Um, well, the um, NPC you need to talk to is down there, it, and sh the guy down there can also upgrade your hand. Yeah. So that's probably the best place to go. Efficient. Okay. Get a little bit of a. Actually, I won't say the joke. It's dirty. <laughs> you should bleep out those two instances of what we said, because... <laughs> <sighs> it's 
It's so depressing. I'm, I I want to kill somebody sometime, but whenever I get in there, just human error or combined with lag, just eh, the best thing. So the best luck I've ever had with PvP is building a character specifically to exploit certain miracles and whatnot. Um, you're in a kind of a PvE build. You're good at killing bosses and whatnot, but you're not really good at killing other characters. Uh, and you're still short about five thousand. Just use, I've, yeah, I've, just got, use an item. I've got stuff. No worries. I, I've got plenty yeah. to do it regardless of what it so. is. Like, my main PvP character was a Blades of the Darkmoon character, and I abused the hell out of a particular sword that you haven't got and a miracle that you do have, the uh, Tranquil Walk of Peace. Is it? So. Is the guy over this way? Okay, so you want to set up the bonfire. Yeah. And then you want to go back out towards Blight Town. Yeah, okay. so as you come out of this hole, take like a slight leftish. Like, I don't know, 15 degrees or God, so. God, just this HDR. I gotta yeah. get vision. God, I hate that. Uh. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I remember like 2006 when HDR started becoming a thing in video games. It's like, this is amazing. And now it's like, I hate it in every single game it's in. Just look at all but that yeah, one bloom of the, on yeah, the ground. See, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. As you can see... I see the torches. I guess it's that one um, over there. You on can the see where the buttress goes down in the columns there. It's one of those two columns. So... Yeah... I think it's the left-hand mm. one. Yeah, I'm guessing it's the left one I as well. I believe it is. So like far left one. The the one right like. So you can see like sort of three three pillars. Yeah. In front of you, the, yeah. just the one on the left. Yeah, you're facing yeah. right at it. The one. Yeah, above you're the facing it right now. Okay, let me see what I can do about these bull about these bullets. Backstab them. You should like well, one or two shot these guys. Backstab every day. They come out of nowhere. That's that's the pain in the yeah. ass is. It's not nowhere. It's. The blue. Like <laughs> Nine hundred pounds. Yeah, y you could see maybe twenty feet in front of you. Yeah, I like the. Um, well, they're an after me, so that's good. Sort of tea colored filter on the, all the blight town. It makes everything just yeah. the se the sepia tone. Yeah, it's, just, it's so stylish. Or sepia. I like the way blight town looks. I just hate going through it. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Weakness <laughs> charm. That's the most useless summon sign I've ever seen. <laughs> you never know, it might pay off. Maybe he knows something that we don't. <laughs> okay, I think this is the one. Uh, just look around. You, you'll be able to tell that there's an NPC here now. Hey! Yeah. Uh oh. Bugs. Watch out for the bugs. You may want to kill them real quick. Just God, be careful. Hmm. A mere undead. Yet you can see me. Fascinating. I am Quelana of Isolith. I am not often revealed to walkers of flesh. You have a gift. Are you too one who seeks my power? Catch your name there? Like Salomon. Yeah, sounds like one of the sisters' names. Hmm. What's your decision? Yes, I am seeking pyromancy, correct? Like Solomon. Yeah. Yes, of course. It should be expected. Very well. You shall be my pupil. But to pursue my pyromancy, you must give something up. Are you prepared to do this? Oh yeah, Guthrie's gotta give it up. <laughs> Long ago, I accepted another pupil like yourself. Over two hundred years ago, there was a man almost as bungling as you. In your world, he was called Salaman, the Master Pyromancer. The little rascal really made something of himself. Salaman. Have we heard that before? No. This is a new NPC drop, and I don't think the art of invoking and manipulating the story at all. Fire. But remember one thing. Always fear the flame. Lest you be devoured by it and lose yourself. I would hate to see that happen again. Or whatever. I'm gonna say is Yeah, and she's not she's not half spider too. Yeah. It's kind of nice. Um, she'll upgrade your pyro hand more. So when you get your pyro hand to plus ten, you can get to ascended levels, and it goes up to plus five, I believe, those. So. Huh. And spells. Yep. Ooh, she boy. also has some good pyromancy spells, which you should look at. Some amazing pyromancy. Yep. Great fireball. Well, all of the ones that you get are great. So. Yeah. Undead rapport is kind of funny, but useless. Yeah. Hmm, I might use a bunch of my uh, 
soul items and get what I can yeah, here. The main ones you want to look for are uh, Great Combustion and fi Great Fireball. Great fireball. Yeah. Yeah. Fire Whip looks really cool, but it's pretty useless. I'd need 25,000. Yeah. No luck. Well, young Oh people, my god, it looks cool. You must have patience. But do not Great Combustion, much like much Combustion, longer. is short range, but it does a ton of damage. Pretty quick cast, too, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty fast. And Great okay. Fireball is just fireballs, but way better. So, so let me get my souls all set here, and I'll just burn through what I got and purchase that because I sure. should have enough. There are other, there are also other pyromancies that you can get that uh, she does not sell. Um, of course, since she is a witch, she is pretty good at pyromancy. There's other witches in this game which you have met that may be good at pyromancy. Uh, joining the Covenant gets me some, does it not? Um, yes, the the witches, or the Chaos Covenant, the Chaos Servants. That's right, Chaos Servant. Uh, the little witch that's half uh -oh. spider. Might be short. She does I allow you to uh, get some specific pyromancies. Hmm. Let me see, what boss souls do I have that I'm not going to use here? That's a good question. Okay, Moonlight Butterfly. That's Moonlight Butterfly gets you two weapons. Um, neither of them are very useful. They're wizard yeah. stuff. Yeah, they're more for in-base yeah. characters. You'll probably okay. get about 2,000 souls for that since it's an early boss. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the next one was the... Uh, oh, it's a fancy fiery sort of animation. Yep. That's neat. 1,200. Bullshit. Yeah, okay, it's an early uh, boss. Next was Core of the Iron Golem. I remember the axe is hyped up, but it's a heavy weapon. Yeah, thing, they, you get a one-handed axe, and you also get a punchy weapon. Yeah. Which is gimmicky Punchy. above anything else. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it's it's kind of cool. Like, it's kind of fun, but... It's useless to actually do anything. It's a gimmick weapon. It is. The axe is slightly better. But... Yeah. Well, I'll go ahead and just use this, and I've seen the axe used in PvE, or PvP videos. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to use the core, yeah. then. Ornstein soul you may want to hold on to. Yeah, Maybe. I probably will. Okay, 12,000. That gives me a fair like, amount. I, yeah. I don't like the weapon Am it gives I, you. Okay, I'm good. Much. We're good. Because it's got really We're over the 25,000 mark. Okay. So, great combustion. Mm -hmm. Yes. This will do, and I'm guessing, around 350-ish damage. Now go. Per what cast. Do? Yeah. Do not crack and great hard. fireball probably does a bit Lest more. Lest my time spent on you be wasted. Hmm. Okay, so that is that. Yep. Uh, let's see what else we got on our list of to-do things. Um, since you met her, and she will sit there for the rest of the game, of course, unless you attack her. Um, Forest Covenant you've done, Sun Bros you've done, Blade of Dark Moon you've done, Chaos Servants you haven't done. You can go talk to them. Uh, there's also the Grave Lord Servants, if you feel that Nito's a cool guy. And then there's uh, the dragon guy that you've met in Ash Lake. The last one... We've already seen that in the stream, Yeah, though. and the Dark Graves you uh, can't get to, so... Mm. Of mm. the rest of them, the Chaos Servant's the only useful one, because you can get some Pyromancies. I don't have the souls for it at the moment, though. They give them to you, straight up, actually, yep. if you join them. It, uh, there's uh, also... Humanity. There's... Okay, so when you join them, they'll give you a specific Pyromancy. You can also buy two pyromancies from them. If you do a certain thing, they'll also give you two more pyromancies. Hmm. Well, let's go join them. Sure. There's also other things, but I won't tell you. <laughs> other things. Other things. I just realized I didn't synchronize something visually on my end, so just in case I have issues, there's a little <laughs> reminder. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. I forget on occasion. About ten seconds late. <laughs> hmm. Well, better. L yeah, sounds mm. better. better late than pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Zing! <laughs> We're gonna be here all night, yeah. folks. Okay. So you talk to a uh, little Miss White over there. Oh, talk to him or her? her. He will sell you things, but uh, I think you can only buy. I've never, got, never gotten a good look at her, really. She looks much like Quilag does. Except, Except she's she doesn't have a suntan. Yeah. Okay, so Inner Covenant. Mm -hmm. Question mark? Exclamation mark. <laughs> she's pretty happy about that. 
great chaos fireball. Yes. Oh, so this, this is, is the best of all the fireballs. This is like spells. Quillogs. Oh, all that stuff ties into yeah. having more humanity, meaning more damage, I guess. Okay, so Great Chaos Fireball does two things. First off, if you do have more humanity, it will do more damage. Also, uh, you should try it out just on the ground someplace, away from everyone. It does a specific other thing that the Great Fireball does not do. If you remember what Quillog used to do with all of her fiery spells, it, uh, pretty obvious. Oh, I'm, I think I have an idea to magic. Yeah. It will take two slots, though, so you'll have to empty both of those slots. Oh. A lot of the better okay. magic miracles and pyromancies in this game take, take two slots. slots, yes. I don't think there's any that take three. Okay, let's try over yeah. here at the end of the walkway. That's a good idea. What sort of a range do we have here? It's the same as Fireball. Oh, nice. Yeah, so lava. it leaves lava on the ground, which causes a secondary damage effect. It doesn't... The player has to be in it for both the hit and the lava, because the lava goes away pretty quickly. But it does almost the same amount of damage in lava damage. What sort so. of a lob do I have on this? Same as yeah, the... same as the uh, the fireballs and the great fireballs, for that matter. It will explode after a range, so... Huh. But the lava does go on the ground, so it's kind of nice. It's the most damaging fireball spell. Cool. Yep. And if you have more humanity, it does more yes. damage. You should also go talk to the egg guy over there. Hey, Dr. Eggman, how's it going? <laughs> you again. There is nothing to say to you, except if you... Does he allow you to purchase anything in particular? I think you may need to do something first. Face your wrath. <laughs> okay, Lumpy. There is nothing to say to you. Purchase item. Ah, still the servant roster. Okay. There. If you level up this covenant, he'll sell you two new spells. Additionally, if you uh, do something in particular to the chaos servants, you can also get spells. Though, I don't know what your uh, stomach is for terms of squeamish things. Uh, what are we talking about here? You want to find out? Uh, can you describe it to me and have me... Sit at the bonfire. Yes sit down. Uh -huh. Take off your helmet. Take off my helmet. Yep. No longer be an onion, dude. <sighs> I don't like where this is going. <laughs> okay, helmet's off. Go outside. Uh, go out the area to the right. Uh, there should be some more of those egg sack guys out there. Mm -hmm. Punch them with your fire hand once. And then stand in front of them and take some hits. Just, you mean like R2 punch? Yeah, R2 punch them. You, you want to do like a weak melee attack on them. Okay, and they're the guys right outside. Yeah, just out to the right. Or you can go up oh. the stairs outside quit like boss to me. Either way. Uh, this is probably quicker out here. Yeah, it's quicker. There. Does this screw? Does this screw me out of the covenant? No, forever, no. Or what? It's a covenant item, actually. So uh, remember these uh, guys that are just trembling with eggs on their back? Yep. Uh, how could I forget? It's almost like they have parasites or something. Okay. Yeah. So just, just punch one of them two. and just stand and take hits. And then watch your character carefully. It may take a couple minutes. Yeah, worms. You may have to heal after a bit, but uh. Oh, grab move. Yes, that's the one you're looking for. Okay, that's cool. Um, walk away from him. So uh, these egg guys, the not stop being coy. They can plant an egg on your forehead, and you will grow an egg out of your forehead. And by doing so, this allows you to learn pyromancies from uh, the servant guy next to uh, the white witch up there. And the tell for this is eventually Gunther will start scratching his forehead during his idle animation. How did he want to find this out? I, I don't know. Um, if you were to defeat enemies and gain souls, you'll gain half the souls because the souls will feed the egg in your forehead. Oh. That little baby. <laughs> Though it doesn't appear to be working at this point. I don't know if you need to go gain souls. I should probably look this up before talking. <laughs> Let's see. 
But this does a couple things. You can eventually get the egg to hatch. If you uh, love that sort of thing. <laughs> My baby! It's like walking around with a fresh egg in Earthbound. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Does Quidlock's sister have a name? Oh, there he is. Scratched the back of his head. Oh, uh, did he? That's good. I had to. He I think I had to heal up or something. Because as soon as I used an Estus, mm. he did it. Okay, you may want to go out to the Blight Town area and start gaining souls. If you get half the amount of souls you normally would have... Yeah, he's scratching his head, so this is good. So, put the helmet back uh, no, on No, you can't what? put the helmet on. That's the one thing. You have to make sure your helmet's off. Because eventually you'll start getting an egghead. Not <laughs> in the good way. <laughs> oh, Gunther's going to start going bald. Yeah. But he's, st he's so young. What about all the senoritas? They won't like you if you're bald, Gunther. You'd be uh, running with a different crowd. You'll have to join like a web ring that's in the parasites. <laughs> <laughs> web ring. Web ring. It's like fucking ninety six <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah, on uh, on Usenet. Tripod or angel yeah, fire. Uh, no, no, it's it's alt dot headworms. <laughs> it's <a> Usenet. <laughs> It says that, uh, according to this wiki, it says that it hatches about five minutes after you start scratching your head. <gasps> so there you go. Oh, uh, I have become a proud be a... papa. <laughs> Gunther, you're gonna be a daddy or, or a mama. <laughs> Wait a second, how does that work? Do parasites have genders? <laughs> do we do we have to go back and demand alimony from the guy that bit him because Gunther uh, didn't ask again, for Again, we're this. gonna do another Gwendolyn thing. Just raise it as whatever. It'll live behind the fog door. Yeah, it says uh, about after scratching, it hatches about five minutes later. So, um, yeah, the best way to go tell is to go uh, attack someone and get some souls and see if it's about half. I can't remember what these guys I gave me. I don't know either, but I guess I could look it up. Uh, whoa, I forgot about that second one. He got me last time, too, I think. <laughs> Just take a hit. Yeah, like, oh dear. That was inconvenient. Yes, this is one of the things about the covenants that, like, it's kind of obtuse that yeah. no one would ever really look like for. Looks like you're still getting 500. Speaking of guys. obtuse, hmm. how much do they give usually? 500. I'm looking I think. that up. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't. I don't think these guys are a thousand souls. Maybe it's once the egg starts to hatch yeah. that it does. I think once you get the uh, scratched, he scratched again. He stopped me. It stopped from and made moving, you do it. And he yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have. It's kind of like, it's, oh, it's going on. Place. Gunther, you've got worms. <laughs> I hope you're happy. Need some heartworm pills. Yeah. He's uh, yeah. going to start dragging the his butt across the carpet. <laughs> Gunther! <laughs> Bad Gunther. Hello, guys. Whoa. Yeah, so Gunther has some worms now. Oh, well, that's, that's not very good. <laughs> right on the brand new rug in the, cham in the princess chamber? My god. <laughs> Should he use protection? Now, now, Kuvo, you said. Oh God, there it is! Oh, oh no! Ah, ah. What happened? What happened? Oh, you have eggs! Oh, oh my God! Hello! Uh, hey, oh no! Holy cow! Wow! That's not good. You should go back I've and talk to the egg guy. And the uh... I've definitely got to go to the vet. <laughs> my God! <laughs> you should go back and talk to the egg oh, guy man. now. I'm sure he'll uh, tell you all about the wonders of being a father. Oh, he is going to be so happy for you. <laughs> oh, I'm, glad I, I'm glad I didn't miss this joyous moment. Yeah, we tried doing some Blades of the Dark Moon invasions that didn't work out so well. Yeah, I got lagged. We did talk to the uh, NPC Pyromancer, so he has a plus 10 flame now. Perfect. But yeah, um, doing this will allow you to get... Uh, I believe two additional pyromancies from the guy. One of them's the delousing. One of them. <laughs> <laughs> delousing. Um, you actually already have the item that gets rid of eggheads. Yep. Oh, that. It's called sports. That yeah. <laughs> uh. Sports. <laughs> you got to put the Tim and Eric music in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, brother. We can't see anything. His head is now. I come with eggs. <laughs> An exceptional human being. Oh. Well, now 
You got the yoke of that joke. Like yep. Now you're just like me. Well, your head looks awful. <laughs> Even with the egghead, he's still dissing you. Wow. <laughs> well, you're cool, Mr. Coffee Cat. Oh, hello. What is it that you Now he's all polite. Yep. Because, well, you're like him. Worse than undead. We are diseased and unwanted. Like the grime of the great swamp. But my dear fair lady, she cried for me and swallowed the great blight pus, despite Mistress Quellard's orders to the contrary. Story right here. The blight pus. Worse than I'm like my... so yeah, she uh, she saved him. Yep. Poison mist and toxic mist. Yep. Both of those yeah. are pretty dick moves in PvP, mm -hmm. especially Toxic Mist. Why was Aang Yi driven from the Great Swamp? One only need cast this pyromancy, a perverse diversion of the Art of Fire, to find out. Mm. So these pyromancies... So this wasn't just a creepy little dude, this guy was a pretty pro pyromancy. Well, yes, seems. but he was also creepy. But, um, those pyromancies... He's, he's just got a hunchback right now. <laughs> those pyromancies are uh, a lot like Great Combustion in their cast time. And uh, they either poison or toxic the enemy. Toxic being the far better of the two. Is is there any detriment to having this aside from not being able to wear? A okay, helmet? so right now you can't wear a helmet, and any souls you will gain, gain by half. Oh, or halved. Well, Gunther, I'd hate. I, I'm sorry, we're going to give it up for adoption. Yeah. You just can't raise it on your own. So you want to use the item that you got in Painted World, or the one he just gave you, which is the yep, the eggs. egg vermifuge. Yep. This will get rid of all your tapeworms. Oh, there it goes. Yep. Hey, pal. Okay, now you're still polite. Okay. So you can put your onion helm back on. Yep. And I think that's a good place to stop for the night. You've problem. done a decent amount. I do not it's think that we're going to top yeah. that. Yeah, it's unfortunate we didn't get very many uh, dark, uh, Blades of the Dark Moon. Yeah. Yeah. I really wanted to do some of that. Oh well, we can go oh, say well. uh, screw you to Guinevere at some point. Gwendolyn, not Guinevere. Yep. Just both of them. Ah, yeah. Screw you to Just both of them. Just burn Analog <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> Throw a TV I out the window. Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just before I head off, just so I remember this, let me get this on heal. And yeah, it's a great cast fireball. It's pretty great. Though you probably yeah. want to put back your lightning. It's situational. Yeah. yeah. Disa disasters are gone after the defeat of Grave Lord Servant. Oh, you oh, were invaded. Right. Hey. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, that is an interesting note to end on, I guess. So a Grave Lord Servant Wait, invaded were you, you even but uh, I thought that you were. I never saw. A you never saw. That. Well, you won't see the. When the Gravelord Servant invades you, you should either... If you're on New Game Plus, you'll see a uh, red NPC, which is way harder. But since you're not New Game Plus, the only thing you'll see is a moving summon sign on the ground showing that the uh, Gravelord Servant's there. So you were invaded, and you didn't even know you were invaded. Because you never found that. I thought you had to be human to get invaded by nope. that. Nope. Huh. Guess not. Gravelord Servant is the well, worst. Um, <laughs> praise good luck. <laughs> praise the worms. Yep. Praise the worms. <laughs> Terrible people. So yeah, you'll probably... Your posture, your posture's off. You'll probably get like two episodes out of this. <laughs> probably. Probably.